Hello my beautiful clowns of the world and welcome back to another thriving Tuesday episode where we bring to you the best and the brightest news for the day. If you're a first time viewer of this channel, don't forget to blast the red subscribe button below to keep updated of all the latest news in tech as and when they happen. Without further ado, let's get it started. The first news of the day we get from Winamp. Now Winamp is making a comeback in 2019. The 21-year-old media company is making a comeback with a mobile app organizing all music, podcasts, streaming services all in one place. Basically, the app will look at organizing all the audio on your phone to one platform instead of multiple platforms. Winamp was bought by Radionomy from AOL in 2014. The CEO says there will be a completely new version next year with the legacy of Winamp but a more complete listening experience. You can listen to MP3s you may have at home, but also to the cloud, to podcasts, to streaming radio stations, to playlists you have built. The new app is supposedly going to launch in desktop, Android and iOS versions. Currently, the app has about 100 million monthly active users. Now, my take on the news is that we have a lot of apps on our phone and not all of them have a specialty. One of them does only streaming music, one only streams podcasts, and the other helps you organize all your all the audio on your phone. But what Winamp will do is going to be much better. It's going to bring all of them to one platform. Now keep subscribed to get the latest news in tech as and when they happen. Moving on, we have updates to Elon Musk versus SEC fist fight. The news is final, the judgment is final with the judge's approval. In the past episode, we covered that Elon Musk was battling the SEC for the tweet he made about taking Tesla private. Though the deal did not follow through, the SEC investigated because the effect of false information that had on Tesla's stock company's stock. They offered Elon Musk a settlement that was pretty generous, but Musk declined the settlement because he wouldn't be following his personal truths. The SEC sued Musk and he quick and Musk changed his mind and signed the settlement. Now the settlement comprises of $40 million that is split between Tesla and Elon Musk and neither parties admit any wrongdoing. Now as this is finally over, Musk can focus on more important things like creating a Tesla branded tequila called Tesla Killer. In other awesome YouTube videos, we get a new video from Cinema Sins of every wrong with Mona in 15 seconds. We get a new video from Face Rug of Scary Spin the Wheel Game at 3 a.m. We get a new video from The Daily Show featuring John Cena discussing the WWE to China. We get a new trailer from Walt Disney Studio for the movie Aladdin. We get a new video from The Odd Ones Out about the views on tabletop games. Anything at all, links are always in the description down below. Now, the third story for the day, we have updates for the Jamal Khashoggi disappearance from Saudi Arabia's Insta. Consulate. Turkey officials have found certain evidences that Jamal Khashoggi was killed in Saudi Arabia's Istanbul consulate. During a search conducted by the Turkish officials which started on Monday and, and ended on Tuesday, officials found surfaces newly painted to conceal evidences. The Saudi officials previously denied any knowledge of Khashoggi's whereabouts and claimed that he left the Istanbul consulate shortly after he went in. However, on Monday, CNN reported that the Saudi government was now preparing to release a report claiming that Khashoggi died as a result of botched interrogation that was conducted without clearance or transparency. The US Secretary of State Mike Pompey, Pompo arrived in Riyadh on Tuesday to hear Saudi's side of the case, after which he'll be heading to Turkey. The Apple Watch that was in question was used by Khashoggi to transmit audio to his phone. Though Turkey does not have LTE connectivity and the Turkish officials say that all the audio must have been erased when the, when the Saudi officials came to know about it. Moving on to some gaming news, we get some interesting weekly updates to the popular game Fortnite. Fortnite has launched a quad crusher in this week's updates. The quad crusher does, just does more than expected. It can destroy player built surfaces and boost based on how much the user drives it. And with the boost, the player can literally fly. The last news of the day we get from Morblong. Morblong is a German luxury writing and accessories brand and as they have start, finally started shipping out their smartwatch, the Mont Blanc Summit 2, with the Snapdragon Wear 3100. The watch is not cheap at all. It's $1,000 and upwards. That is about 73,000 
plus taxes in India. Now it comes with a 42 mm case and it comes in variety of stainless steel, black diamond like carbon, titanium and much more. Users can also select about 11 interchangeable straps like calfskin, steel, rubber, sports and nylon. The watch gets a new chipset and capabilities of Google Wear OS that is thousands of watch faces and so on and a lot of bells and whistles that Google offers out of the box. Now keep subscribed as we bring to you the greatest and the best news for the day as and when they happen. Now this is all for today. I want to pass on the questions to you. What do you guys think about the news that we covered today? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up right below. If you do not subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you guys soon.